Have you ever been absolutely certain that you have seen or heard something only to find out later that it wasn't true? It's possible then that you have experienced the Mandela effect. Please introduce yourself in the comments and don't forget to subscribe below and click the bell to receive notifications. So let's discuss. First off, what is the Mandela effect? The Mandela effect is an observed phenomenon in which a large group of people misremembers an event that did not actually occur. Some quantum theory fans and enthusiasts believe that the Mandela effect actually presents evidence that the multiverse does exist. So how did they get the name Mandela effect? The term Mandela effect was first coined by Fiona Broom in 2009 when she created a website to detail her findings of this experience. Broom was at a conference talking with other people about how she remembered the tragedy of former South African President Nelson Mandela's death in a South African prison in the 1980s. There's only one problem. Nelson Mandela didn't pass away until 2013. As Broom began to talk to other people about her memories, she learned that she was not alone. Others remembered seeing news coverage of his death as well as a speech by his widow. Broom was shocked that such a large mass of people could remember the same identical event in such detail when it never happened. Encouraged by her book publisher, she began her website to discuss what she called the Mandela Effect and other incidents like it. Hence, the Mandela Effect was born. Now today we're going to explore various examples of the Mandela Effect. Here are a few of them right now. One of the most well-known examples of the Mandela Effect is the collective memory of a movie called Shazam that starred the comedian and actor Sinbad in the 1990s. In fact, no such movie exists. Although there was a children's movie called Kazam, starring basketball player Shaquille O'Neal and some other coincidences that could contribute to this one, but to make things even more confusing, there is an unaffiliated movie about a superhero called Shazam, although Sinbad, unfortunately, does not star in it. Do you remember a peanut butter called Jiffy? I thought I did too, but it was Jif, easily explained by a similar brand, Skippy. Fruit Loops and Looney Tunes. While many of us are certain that they are spelled like this, they are indeed spelled as such. How many E's are in Febreze? I can say with ease, Febreze has one E. Another big example of the Mandela Effect is that we all remember the show Sex in the City, but there is no popular show on HBO named after sexual intercourse in New York. The show is called Sex in the City. Jaws. You're going to need a bigger boat is often misquoted as, we're going to need a bigger boat. See also, Luke, I am your father. Speaking of Star Wars, we fondly remember the intelligent android C-3PO as being all gold, correct? Wrong. C-3PO indeed had one silver leg, as seen here. Who doesn't love Monopoly? Especially Pennybags. Uncle Pennybags with his monocle, right? Right? Wrong. The famous Monopoly man never wore a monocle. You might be thinking of Mr. Peanut. We Are the Champions, made famous by the band Queen and sung by Freddie Mercury, ends with Of the World, right? Wrong. Given that the line we all know of the world exists early in the song itself, with the first chorus might be an explanation, but it won't stop me from singing it though. The song does not end with Of the World. Pikachu's tail is black, right? Wrong. Fruit of the Loom. Many of us believe that a cornucopia is in the Fruit of the Loom logo. But we are wrong. The famous brand does not feature one. Forrest Gump is often misquoted as saying life is like a box of chocolates. Remember Forrest Gump saying that? Do you remember all the times we've repeated that phrase? While it is cute, it was never actually spoken by Tom Hanks in the 1994 film. What he actually said was, life was like a box of chocolates. Snow White, mirror, mirror on the wall. Nope. The actual line is, magic mirror on the wall. Casablanca. Often quoted is 1942's Casablanca, specifically the line, play it again, Sam. Where the misquote originally came from is uncertain. That line is never actually spoken in the film. The actual line spoken in the film is, 
play it once, Sam, for all time's sakes. And finally, Henry VIII. For whatever reason, many people claim that a portrait exists which shows the King of England holding a turkey leg. To be clear, he was not. Thank you for tuning in, watching, liking, and subscribing. Please do not forget to introduce yourself in the comments and click the bell to receive notifications as well as to subscribe to the channel itself. Thank <laughs> you.